In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify i to any power. So first, a little background. Um, start with i. Uh, i cannot be simplified any further. So if, if you have i, that's just i. Now, um, i squared is negative 1, really by definition. So just memorize that. i squared is negative 1. Now, i to the third power could be derived from, from uh, what we have above. Because i to the third power it could be written as i squared times i. Um, but then i squared is negative 1. So this is really negative 1 times i, which is really just negative i. Okay, uh, but this is useful enough that I do want you to go ahead and just memorize it. Um, i to the third power is negative i. Okay, now how about i to the fourth power? Well, i to the fourth power can be derived from i squared because i to the fourth power is i squared times i squared. So that would be negative 1 times negative 1 which would equal positive 1. Uh, again, this is going to wind up being important enough that I want you to go ahead and memorize that i to the fourth power is equal to 1. Okay, so this is the background knowledge. We have these four facts that I want you to memorize. Now, watch what happens if I go past i to the fourth power. Let's say if I do um, i to the fifth power. Okay, now i to the, to the fifth power would be the same thing as i to the fourth power times an extra i. Um, but i to the fourth power is one. We memorize that. So this would just be one times i or simply i. So, um, hmm, that's interesting. That is the same thing that we got when we just had i in the first place. So i to the fifth power is just i. All right, what do you think will happen if I do i to the sixth power? Any guesses? Well, i to the sixth power would be the same thing as i to the fourth power times i squared. Um, this would be one times negative 1, which is negative 1. So take a look. i to the sixth power is negative 1, which is the same thing that we had for i squared. What do you think will happen if I do i to the seventh power? Do you want to bet that it's going to turn out to be negative i? All right, what do you think will happen if I have i to the eighth power? Do you want to bet that it's going to turn out to be 1? Okay, and the reality is, um, yeah, this pattern will continue. If I do i to the seventh power, um, I could work it out step by step, but it's going to turn out to be negative i. And i to the eighth power, which is just i to the fourth power times i to the fourth power, will definitely be 1. So as I go on, if I were to do i to the ninth power, that would just wrap around again. And you know, i to the ninth power is back to i again. i to the tenth power is back to negative one, and so on. So um, these are the only four answers that we're gonna get. i, negative one, negative i, and positive one. Because of the repetition, because of the pattern, we can develop a system that will quickly help us to simplify i to any power. And uh, there's a couple different ways to do this, but here's the one that I like the most. Um, let's go back to what we had. We have i, we have i squared, i to the third power, and i to the fourth power. So I'm going to form these into a chart. Okay, let's start with what we have memorized. I cannot simplify any further. 
i squared is negative 1, i to the third power is negative i, and i to the fourth power is 1. Okay, now in the third column, think about money. Think about quarters. Um, one quarter, because this is sort of like i to the 1 power, one quarter um, would be 25 cents. Two quarters would be 50 cents. Three quarters would be 75 cents. And four quarters would be a whole dollar. Okay? Um, using this chart, I can find i to any power in the following way. Um, uh, take a look at number 21, for example. If I, uh, I have i to the seventh power, all you have to do is take 7 and divide by 4 and see what you get. So using my 4 function calculator, I'm pretending this is a 4 function calculator because that's all you're going to get. Uh, 7 divided by 4 is 1.75. Focus on the 0.75. All right, that 0.75 tells me that it's going to be negative i for the answer. So this is going to just simply be negative i. It's a shortcut. Okay, um, look at number 22. Okay, we have 18. Okay, so if I do 18 divided by 4 on my 4 function calculator, so I've got 18 divided by 4, I get 4.5. See the 0.5? Okay, that's here. That tells me the answer is negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1. All right, how about the 37? If I do 37 divided by 4, that's 9.25. Look at the 0.25. The 0.25 tells me that the answer is going to be i. So this will be i. Okay, 158. Okay, 158 divided by 4. Okay, so I get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is here. The answer is negative 1. 180. 180 divided by 4. Hmm, there are no decimals. It divides in evenly. Okay, so that's where this comes in. See how it's 0 .00, no decimals. That means the answer must be 1. Okay, what about number 26? 67. 67 divided by 4. 0.75, that tells me that the answer is negative i. 14, 14 divided by 4. See the 0.5? That's why the answer will be negative 1. Okay, 130. 0.5 again. So again, this will equal negative 1. 101. All right, always divided by 4. See the 0.25? That's why the answer will be I. Okay, goes in evenly, zero decimals. See the zero? All right, that's why the answer will be one. Okay, and that is how you simplify i to any power.